Now, I'm sorry that CZ, I have no reason to, to go, you know, fight with him on social media. I've, I've only met the guy once in a conference where he was on a screen. And so this is not a plan to hurt him. I'm just asking, where'd the money go? Where's the money? What about that $2.1 billion that you took off the balance sheet of FTX? Is that not a reasonable question? What's the answer? You know, this is America. In this country, you're assumed innocent till proven guilty. And when he is proven guilty and gets his fair day in trial, then I'll say that if indeed he's guilty. I don't understand this mob saying he's a fraudster without even a fair trial. One day, some of those people are going to be in the same situation. They just don't know it yet. The basis of this, the, the justice system is assume innocence and pr till proven guilty. Look, this guy, if he did all the things that, that have been claimed against him, he's in really big trouble. But he will get his day in court. And then after that, after it's proven and after it's a fact, we can talk about it. But I'm not going to run around ahead of the, the justice system. I have no idea what happened there yet. I need to see the facts. And frankly, no does anybody else. We got to get we got to get John Ray to get the records out here. All of these allegations. Look, I understand why people are unhappy. I get it. But there is a due process. And so I stand up for anybody, anywhere, beyond Sam Bankman Freed. You are innocent until proven guilty. Anybody. Anybody in America. You don't like it? Too bad. I've been a venture investor for 30 years. You make about 10 investments. Eight of them are going to fail, and two of them are unicorns, and pay for all of the grief and misery of the ones you failed on. You ask, why did people invest in FTX? It looked like a unicorn. No amount of due diligence on the eight losing companies in venture investing is going to stop them from failing. It doesn't matter. You have no idea when the journey starts what's going to happen. You do know, though, the stats tell you eight out of ten times it's going to fail. That's how, that's how it was in the 1950s. That's how it is today. So. Venture investing is risky. This was a venture investment. It's risky. What are the reasons for failure? Well, in this case, it might be fraud if it proven. And so we don't know, but there's lots of other reasons companies fail. I'm not going to stop investing as a venture investor because I've had a zero. I have eight zeros out of 10 every time I do 10 deals. But the two that win pay for all the mistakes. Obviously, I wish I hadn't got involved in this. It's too bad that this is the outcome. But I'm certainly not going to shirk from responsibilities of trying to do as much as I can to return capital. And anything I can do, and I'm very fortunate to have resources, I'm going to. But that's all I can do. What else can I do? I mean, I have to actually face this, deal with all this, and then go forward. And I'm going to remain an investor. I'm going to remain transparent. And if called back to testify, I will. This is a journey. We haven't started even the first mile of it yet. Look, we've all been sued, all of us. We all feel like idiots. We all have egg on our face. Uh, we obviously knew nothing about what was going on internally. Otherwise, we would have never taken on these assignments. And this is a tragedy. Everybody knows that.